In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set your G54Z offset off the front face of your stock. So as you can see in here, right now I have my main roughing tool called up. I have it hand jogged over close. This is just some steel right here. And we're gonna come in, turn the spindle on manually, come in, face this off, and set our offset. So let's do that now. So first, go into MDI mode. We're gonna put in M3, which is spindle clockwise. S1500, which is spindle at 1500 RPMs. That's a very good mid-range spindle level for pretty much any steels, aluminums, and whatnot. So M3, S1500, we're gonna put in P11. P11 tells it which spindle we want it to turn on. P11 is the main one, P13 is the sub spindle, and P12 is any live tooling. So we'll put in P11, and we're gonna hit G97, which turns constant surface speed off, so it doesn't ramp up in RPMs when we approach the center of that part. So then we're gonna hit end of block down there, insert, that'll put our code up here. We're gonna hit cycle start. And now our spindle's in there turning. Now we're gonna go over to handle, select our axis. So we wanna go down and X, and I'm gonna come in here with the hand wheel, and I'm gonna turn it down there. You can see the tool's moving in closer. I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna hit Z, and I'm gonna slowly move over to the workpiece until we see a chip. So right there, we see some chips coming off. Move it back to X, and I'm just gonna face that part manually. You can see the chips are coming off there. And all I'm doing is I'm using this hand jog at the 10% feed. So now we went past the center line. We're gonna just hand jog it all the way up. So right there, I'm gonna hit reset. That'll turn our spindle off. Now, it's very important you don't move anything here because currently our X is where we want it to be. So we're gonna go over offset right there. Brings us to our offset page. We're gonna go to operator. Let's see. Go back to offset. We're gonna go, if you're in this setting here, go to where or geometry. Let's see here. Okay, actually, scratch that. You're gonna hit offset. So you can toggle between offset and your tools there. And then you have your work offsets here. Go to work. You can see here we have G54. So we're gonna use the arrow keys here. Move over and go down to Z. We're gonna type in Z zero point. Make sure we're in edit mode down there. So we're gonna type in Z zero point right there, we're in Z, and we're gonna watch that number change, and I'm just gonna hit the measure button right there. So that zeroed that number out, so that's how you set your Z zero for your parts.